everyone welcome to the tutorial on how to set up raspberry pi headless that is without screen from scratch so let's not waste our time and start in that so first of all visit uh, raspberry pi.org and uh, on that go to downloads page on the download page you can see this uh, raspberry pi imager uh, based on your os uh, i am using windows so i'm gonna download this windows version of uh, imager for the raspberry pi this tool will allow us to format uh, our sd card and flash uh, our raspbian os to the sd card so this is really important uh, tool that we are going to use in this tutorial okay so i have already downloaded and installed the raspberry pi imager so i am not going to do it again but based on your uh, operating system you can download and install it for uh, raspberry pi os you can click on this uh, raspbian or if you want to use noobs os you can use it that too okay so i'm gonna use the raspbian os over here okay so for that uh, raspbian we have three options uh, one is raspbian buster with desktop uh, this includes everything like all the basic softwares like uh, office and everything that we don't need right now I'm gonna use this Raspbian uh, Raspbian Buster with desktop, which is around 1.1 GB. Okay. So again, I have downloaded this, so I'm not gonna download it again. You can download this zip. Uh, you can click on this download zip button, and you can download it from here. Okay. Okay. So once uh, zip file is downloaded, you can open. Uh, let's say let's complete our task over here. Okay. Download. Uh, this is done. And this is also i am assuming is done from your end okay so the second step is we're gonna format the sd card so i'm gonna insert my sd card over here okay and hopefully it is inserted and then you can open the raspberry pi imager over here okay and uh, let it open and on this error downloading was okay it's okay and you can select this option choose os and uh, you can select this erase uh, option over here okay and then you have to choose the sd card over here i'm going to choose this one and when you click on the right it will format the sd card it will take a while okay so erase has been written to this card that means uh, your sd card has been formatted you can verify it in the uh, over here and there is nothing inside this and the sd card is empty over here okay so the next step is we have to flash uh, let's let's mark it as completed we have completed the format of sd card okay now we have to flash the downloaded raspberry pi uh, os to the uh, sd card okay so on this operating system select and i'm going to use this use custom okay from where i have to move to where i have kept my uh, raspberry pi os zip file okay i have kept it over here so you can choose this zip file or you can extract the zip and select this image file i'm going to choose this zip file okay and again we have to choose the sd card and we have to select write okay it will start writing it will take time i'm going to post this video over here okay it has uh, started i'm pausing the video for saving time okay meanwhile when when uh, when this uh, flashing is going on we have uh, we can complete this fourth and fifth step over here okay so for that uh, uh, to configure ssh we need to uh, paste one file in our sd card so for that you create a new file and uh, simply put one character over here and save it as uh, let's say i'm gonna make new folder over here raspy okay and you have to save this file as ssh with no extension all types should be selected over here and no extension should be there only ssh and then remove this character and save it we have to paste this file into our sd card later on okay and another thing over here uh, you can go to uh, let's say let's forget it uh, we have to uh, like I'm going to use Wi-Fi over here uh, for that uh, I think this is the file okay 
so i am uh, i don't i do not have the display to see uh, raspberry pi and i do not have the hdmi cable as well so uh, that that's what we call headless like uh, we cannot see anything and we have to configure the raspberry pi so we have to use this file to connect to a wi-fi whenever raspberry pi boots okay so this would be a same uh, for you uh, only the country code will change accordingly okay and this should be your wi-fi name that i have currently over here i have connected to my iphone over here my laptop is connected with the same network so whenever raspberry pi boots i have to connect to my iphone and this would be the password of the uh, wi-fi okay so we have to save this file as wpa underscore supplicant and dot config i have just kept it over here uh, once the writing operation is completed uh, we will save it over here okay so these two files needs to be uh, done okay so once the writing is completed it will verify uh, whether all the files have kept properly or not in the sd card so it will again take a few time uh, like some time okay so verification is about to complete okay let's wait okay so in the end it will show this pop-up that uh, this particular zip has been returned to this particular SD card okay and you can press continue and you can close it from here we don't need it so we have created two file one is simply SSH with no extension the file should not contain anything and second is WPS supplicant I am going to rename this file once it is saved there so uh, just click on over here and save copy as and move to your SD card where you have uh, where you can see this overlays over here so you can save the file over here make sure uh, there is no extension and this should be selected as all types okay and save it okay and also this uh, let me explain it again uh, you have to change your country code over here uh, for India I have IN uh, in the network you have to select the Wi-Fi name of your access point I have iPhone as a name of my Wi-Fi okay and this should, this should be password of this Wi-Fi network okay so I'm going to save this again as save a copy as over here in boot but this should be WPS supplicant dot config C O N F uh, it should have extension of C O N F okay and save it okay so verify these two files over here in the SD card one is SSH with no extension okay and wps applicant with dot conf config uh, uh, extension okay now you can eject this sd card and put it in the raspberry pi and uh, you can start your raspberry pi but make sure you have uh, like uh, your wi-fi is up uh, whatever wi-fi name you have specified over here it should be up only then you can uh, like check whether it is getting connected or not okay okay so i have inserted the sd card to raspberry pi and i have turned it on uh, i have to check the wi-fi range like I, ip address of my wi-fi range so i'm going to use ip config over here and as you can see my uh, wi-fi range start like ip range start from 172.20.10.1 and the ip address of uh, our raspberry pi should be between this like 172.20.10.1 to 172.20.10.255 okay so we need to find the ip address of our raspberry pi so for that i am going to use a program namely uh, advanced ip scanner okay so in that uh, we have to specify a range like 172.20.10.1 up to 255 so it will scan all these ips uh, ranging from 1 to 255 okay if i click on scan it will scan all the ip addresses as you can see raspberry pi is having 172.20.10.2 20.10.2 so we have to use a putty program uh, to open ssh connection to our raspberry pi okay so 172.20.10.2 okay keep everything as it is and press on open and whenever this pop-up occurs you have to press yes okay it will ask for credentials you have to provide pi as username and raspberry as a password so raspberry will be spelled as uh, this raspberry okay so this should be your password it will not appear in the terminal you have to just 
type raspberry pi uh, just raspberry and press enter it will uh, enter this this uh, terminal okay so uh, ssh connection is completed we have to start the we have to see the desktop so for that we have to set up a vnc server on the raspberry pi so for that type sudo uh, raspi config okay it will open at, uh, something like this uh, you have to like uh, you can use the keyboard up down arrow to move to different options uh, on the interfaces uh, uh, interfacing options uh, you can go over there and press enter to enter to a particular options in that go to vnc and press enter and it will ask whether you want to uh, v, uh, enable the vnc server or not so again over here press on the left key to move to yes and press enter to enable the vnc server and it will again show the pop up which uh, like shows the vnc server server is enabled okay so now vnc server is enabled we can use uh, vnc viewer to view our raspberry pi uh, window okay so i'm going to use 172.20.10.2 that is same ip that we put in the uh, putty server okay like putty terminal and press enter uh, it will ask for this pop-up you can proceed with continue okay and it will show this raspberry pi desktop so congratulations this is how you configure the uh, headless raspberry pi uh, you can change the resolution over here in the preferences uh, maybe raspberry pi configuration Okay, and you can go to display uh, set resolution and you can set the resolution as uh, let's say this one and press ok why it is not ok and you have to press ok over here and yes so it will reboot the raspberry pi and it will connect again so you can simply wait over here okay so once uh, uh, the raspberry pi is rebooted it will uh, like show this uh, updated resolution okay so this is how you configure a raspberry pi headless without the screen I hope you enjoyed the video uh, make sure to like and share the video with your friends uh, whom they are like might be help helpful for them in the next video i am going to explain how to set up uh, like install opencv in this raspberry pi so until then happy learning